Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Advisor? <laughs> all right. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. <sighs> I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! No way! Ah! Oh, so this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. 
It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kaneshiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. we go? Thank you very much. Excuse me.
very much.
actually... Excuse me. Thank you very much. All right. 
Shall we go? All right then. Yes. It seems... Thank you very much. All right. Thing the matter? Huh? 
How suspicious. Yes. Listen. Thank you very much. to ask you out here so suddenly. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. That sounds lovely. All right then, let's take a walk. a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. Amazing. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, 
I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I suppose I can't complain about that. stories online about horrible hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Ake. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Did you notice this? Proof. Come on. It's almost time for Echo's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. Hey! Huh? 
You're right. Apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Are we really no match for him? Thank you. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition! The Student Sharing Special! Round of applause, everyone! This event is never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. He's choosing from the crowd? The MC this year is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Come on up here, Miss Pred. Do I have to go? That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Everybody's waiting for you, Miss President. Relation to 
were to bully such a sweet girl. Well, did you all enjoy our blushing beauty? Thank you very much, Miss President. Just when it was getting interesting. Come on, MC, do your job. I made a fool of myself. The post festival party has never felt that long before. By the way, I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Oh, um, uh, forget what I just said. <laughs> Despite everything that happened with Akechi-kun, my final post-festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. If you'd accept this... I hope you enjoy it. Come, let's go home. With Aiko, I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. You're still not gonna let me forget that, hmm? Well, I'm glad she didn't get into any danger. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. No, that's not it. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. For now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. Because it's the head of police operations. I'll need an extensive academic background, though. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can. Because I have you. I am thou. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy- Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power.
All right. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. But perhaps it's not as contradictory as it seems. The objective is the same. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. S so you see... Uh, um... Well, I was thinking... Maybe we could study some things we don't have experience in yet. Would that be okay? I want to be with you. still have some time before night falls. About this I know it's a special day but that's also why I wanted to see you Merry Christmas it's just about time for dinner so why don't we find a place to eat okay let's go oh uh come to think of it uh, well it is a cold Christmas Eve so do you want to hold hands I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. At least we can try to get a cake here, but... Even this place is so crowded. Th thank you. I feel the same way. Wait, focus. We've got a cake to buy. Let's get going. It doesn't look like they have anything. Oh well. Maybe we'd better find another place. You're not in the market for a Christmas cake, are you? Oh, um, we are, actually. Ah, fantastic! One of our orders was canceled last minute. You're kidding! I guess it's your lucky night, so do you want to buy it? Well, if it's really all right... Then yes, we'll take it. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? Sure, we'll go with that. It's so good. Right? Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. Oh, oh, right. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. I have to say, um... My life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you. But we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize... I wouldn't want it any other way. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh... Lose track of time together. It's really nothing fancy, but I'm glad you like it. Oh, wait. Don't move. <laughs> you had some cream on your nose. How did that even get there? I 
usually don't laugh this much on Christmas, but I guess it's not just the holidays. Meeting you's helped me see so much humor, even excitement in the most trivial things. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. Thank you for spending Christmas with me and for loving me. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, look! It's so beautiful! Snow must have picked up after we got back. Coming back to LeBlanc really was the smart move. Now, we get to enjoy the view. I didn't know I could be this happy. It almost doesn't feel real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there. As much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. Can we talk for a little while? Hey, hey! Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I'll give it a try. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> Good evening. Sorry to barge in like this. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. 
Enjoy yourselves. He was quite considerate. Welcome home, once again. At least you're aware of it. I was scared out of my mind, you know? It was like you disappeared. And after that, I find out you turned yourself in? I forgive you, but you need to stop shouldering all the burdens on your own, okay? I want to support you, especially when you're hurting. We can get through our problems together. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into a lecture. That's not why I came here anyway. Chocolate, for you. I'm afraid it's not homemade, but... That's nice, but you'll have to actually eat it eventually, okay? We came back, right? We're in the real world this time? I've been studying hard. I'm looking to apply to law school. My dream of becoming a police commissioner remains the same. Um, can I sit next to you? You're going back next month, right? Sure, just let me get my tickets. I wish. But our relationship can survive a little distance, right? Can I tell you something? When I was a phantom thief, I was driven by one goal, to help those who were unjustly suffering. And that hasn't changed, of course. That goal still keeps me going. But now, I have something else too. Now, I have someone I want to be happy. I want to stand beside them, not as a phantom thief, but as myself. Someone very special. Huh? Is something wrong? Huh? Um, okay. Thank God you said something. I was getting kind of worried. Today's, well, you know. Okay. Let me get changed, and I'll meet you there. It's beautiful. I've been to aquariums before, but... They never seemed quite as magical as this. That was a long time ago, though. My father took me here once when I was in grade school. My sister would have gone, but I think she stayed home that day. Too busy studying for some exam. <laughs> hey, is this in return for Valentine's Day? You really didn't have to go to all this trouble, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, are you hungry? I think we've seen everything here. We could go get some dinner if you want. What? Really? Well, now you've got my hopes up. I guess we'd better get going. This restaurant really is lovely. You don't say. Sounds like you've got some friends in high places then. If you're trying to be unbelievably smooth, it's working. Especially earlier when you went to the staff to get our reservation. You were so composed. That was the most adult I've ever seen you. <laughs> Sorry, I need to step out for a moment. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us.
What's going on? <gasps> wow! What? Thank you. Seems unreal, like something that only ever happens on TV. But now that it's happening to me, I I don't know what to think. I'm just so happy. Is it because I don't have experience in these things? Would I know what to say if I dated someone before? Really? Well, either way, I'm so happy right now. I guess you planned today out to the smallest detail, huh? Thank you. Really. Now that I think of it, this is just like you. Whenever you go to this much trouble, it's always for someone else's sake. I need to start following your example. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, hey, do you have to be anywhere after this? If not, um, we should spend some more time together. Wait, I don't mean to come off as clingy or anything. It's all this romance in the air. I don't know how to deal with it. Still, if it's just for one evening, we can lean into it, right? Sorry to bother you when you're so busy, but I wanted to see you before you left. It won't be long until I'm living alone, too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. Huh? I, uh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I guess we won't have to tiptoe around my sister or boss. Drop by whenever you like. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. You gave me the push I needed. Back then, I was just another honor student. Meeting you helped me change how I define myself. So I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. Doors are now closing. Please stand back. It doesn't matter 